In this video, I'll introduce another concept that we use often in SQL. It's called as creating a view. A view is basically uh, another table that is created within uh, the SQL database. So for example, you'll see within the Sakila schema here or the Sakila database, we have, um, we have tables and views. So tables will just be whatever tables we used before. Uh, and views are the same in that they are also tables. However, they are tables that are uh, derived from um, these particular tables that we already have. By derived, I mean that uh, there are often times that we do not really want to rewrite the complex queries that we already have written. So for example, um, this query that I had written for finding the number of payments by month had, uh, so if I run this query, it'll give you uh, the period or the year month followed by the total number of payments that were received from all the customers. So it's possible that the store manager or um, uh, whoever is accessing this database wants to just have a look at this particular table. And within this table, say he or she wants to have a look at uh, this particular period, say 2005, June, what are the total payments made during that time? So instead of writing this query or rewriting this query again, what that person can do is just access this particular view once it's created. So um, that's the advantage of having a particular view versus uh, writing a query uh, repeatedly. So the way to do that would be using certain key commands. So for creating views, we use create. We do a or replace here in case the view already exists. So create or replace, then we use the keyword view. Then we give it a name as say payments and we want it within the particular schema of Sakila. So give it a name as Sakila.payments. So there'll be a view called as payments created within the schema called as Sakila. And then end it with the as keyword. So create or replace. So what this is doing here is creating um, a view called as payments within the schema Sakila. Uh, and if this particular view already exists, it is replacing it um, also with the contents of this particular query that we have. So let's do control enter now. And once we do control enter, as you can see, uh, we'll just uh, refresh this and you'll see that there is a view called as payments created over here. If we just want to access this view, we can do a select star from sakila.payments and if we just run this there you go so it'll give you um, the all the payments that were derived from that period basically the contents of that particular view now if you want to filter out certain contents here we can just use uh, we can just use uh, whatever filtering criteria that we want so uh, it'll basically filter out for that particular period. So this is useful um, when instead of um, writing this entire query over here, as you can see now, we we'll j we'll just use the particular view and just filter out according to our requirements. Um, similarly, say we want to drop this particular view, um, our business requirements have changed. We no longer require this view anymore. So we just do a drop view and then uh, name the view that we want to drop. So this is the keyword that is used for deleting any view. So if we just run this to control enter, it'll simply um, delete this particular view from the database.